I'm Max Venus, and in this video, we're going to be using SliceX to chop up a drum beat in FL Studio. So, I've got a, uh, a little breaks drum beat. It's a very live drum beat. It hasn't got any slices in it at the moment, so we're going to add some slices in manually. This enables, to, enables us to have uh, peak control over kind of where we put our slices and not rely on any manual slicing. So what we're going to want to do is uh, highlight the entire beat uh, and press M on the keyboard to add a marker. So what this does, you can just press Enter uh, and it creates a new marker on the, uh, on the drum beat itself. Then you can just move this uh, red, red highlighting, if you like, back uh, to where you want to set your next marker. So we're gonna, we've got our first marker here on the kick and then our second marker is going to go on the snare, which is here. So we're just going to press M there, press Enter and add another marker. So I'm just going to add these markers on all of the transients here so we can pull out all of the different drum, heat, drum hits separately. So just run through this. Last two here. So now on the keyboard, we've got our drum beat sliced up to all the different keys. And you can now create your own complete unique loop out of this drum loop. We've got uh, the ability to come into the, play, uh, the piano roll here. So if you wanted to just create like a standard kind of house techno beat, use the snare from this breaks loop and the hi-hat. Okay. So now you can just basically experiment and create a whole new loop. So you can see as I pull the tempo down there, there's a slight gap in between the end of each of the sounds. So it just doesn't sound quite as natural there. So you can avert that by clicking on this drop, uh, on this drop down here and selecting um, loop half of regions. So what loop half of regions is, is at the end of when the sample stops, it just basically loops the second half of it. So it seams it all together quite nicely. Let's just play this uh, pattern. So we've, we've definitely removed that gap. So what I like to do is I like to take advantage of the envelope functionality in here. So we've created our little drum beat. I like to enable the volume here. And as we've got volume envelope selected here, if you highlight here, this now gives you the ability to shape each of those hits from the sampler. So you can pull down maybe re reduce the decay on those sounds so it's more of a snappy effect. Might sound more natural, or if you're going for a really tight drum and bass sound, you can really like get the, the transients quite short, keep things simple. Okay, so you can, uh, in, you can change the pitch of all the individual hits. So you just find out which mark you wanted to, uh, to edit there, and we select it from the list here. So the snare that I've got here is marker two. And then you can adjust the playback speed, which will effectively change the pitch. So you can experiment with that to get some interesting results. You can also pan it. The slicer also has a uh, built-in um, filter section, so you can you take advantage of that. It saves you having to use a separate channel for your uh, filter or separate insert effect. 
bypass, ham, uh, bypass, low pass, band rejects and a high pass. They call it a band stop in FL. Some interesting effects. So we looked at uh, chopping a beat up manually. There's also the option available to you to use a, a manual auto slice option. So I'm just going to delete these slices here by holding Control, Shift and Delete, which removes the markers. So I'm just going to get rid of all those markers. And then I'm going to try out the auto slice option. So you can select this tool here and come down to auto slice. Um, and you can experiment with the, the different options. There's dull, there's medium and there's sharp. There's small grid, there's medium grid, large grid. I find uh, dull is, it works for this loop, but we've missed out the, um, the the last hit there. So let's try medium. So medium's, it's maybe brought out all of, maybe too many of those drum hits, but it's retained much more of the original flow of that. It also drops in the, uh, the MIDI information here. So uh, one of the, things you might want to uncheck is auto dump. So as you're, um, maybe you're making your own arrangement here. Let's just quickly make a quick arrangement. So if I then come into the markers and I wanted to edit some of these markers as this loop is playing, if I have auto dump already checked here and I change the marker, you can see it just overwrites that pattern that I've just created, which can be quite annoying. So I find that unchecking auto dump enables you to have, unchecking auto dump enables you to create a pattern and then edit the markers as the beat is playing and not disrupt it by auto dumping every time the MIDI information. In this video, we've looked at using SliceX to cut up a drum beat manually and both with the auto slice function. We've also used some of the uh, editing tools in SliceX to advantage to customize the beat.